Whoops. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We're back with Sonic Adventure, and I'm your host, Frags O'Neill, as always. And we are hopping right on in to Ice Cap. Now, uh, we're cutting out the bullshit in the Tails version, which I'm a huge fan of. We're just snowboarding against Sonic the Hedgehog. Who's got any problem with that, man? Hitting the action right off the bat is never, ever a bad thing. Like, okay. When Sonic Generations came out, and, well, no, let's, let's, let's take it on back. Uh, for years, starting with Sonic Adventure, actually, uh, there was a long-ass cutscene at the beginning of every Sonic game. And it was just kind of a slog. And then when Sonic Colors came out, you boot up the game, you hit uh, start file, and then boom, you're just playing in Tropical Resort. And uh, they continued that with Sonic Generations as well. I think that that's awesome because uh, when when game developers learned like, hey, at the beginning of the game, people just want to play. Um, that was just such a good move in the uh, games industry. You know, a little bit of exposition is nice, but in a in a platformer like this, you don't even need to mess with it, dude. Um, like even let's use Mario Galaxy as an example. Uh, you you start the game off, and while it might not be a full level, you're in full control of Mario in uh, the Mushroom Kingdom and Princess Peach's Princess Peach's Castle. Excuse me. Um, right out the bat. And same with Mario 64, they just like, you know, you have that little like less than a minute cutscene in the beginning and then boom, you're Mario, you're outside Peach's castle, you can explore your moves and, uh, you know, experiment and stuff, it's great. I love everything about it. And then, uh, yeah, I guess that's Ice Cap with Tails. Ice Cap the tangent level. And we won. I don't think that there's a lot you can do to lose on that one because you're kind of at a fixed speed. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, don't hit too many walls and you should be good. 17th emblem. Here we go. What could be next? I don't think Tails goes to Twinkle Park or Red Mountain. Uh, he, he finishes on Speed Highway. Oh, we're probably going to have to do Sky Chase again. Or Knuckles? Knuckles boss fight? Yup. Tails v. Knuckles. That's weird. I'll let this one play out. It might be different. Yep. When has Knuckles ever had beef with Tails? What are you doing? <laughs> that was like Johnny Bravo. Don't mess with me now. Oh, mama. I, honest to God, do not remember this. But I do remember. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. That reminds me of the episode where I fought Knuckles as Sonic and uh, uh, the, the Crow game came at me. Call, my dudes. Call. Brad the Lad sick the crows on me. Dude, I was so fucking confused. If anybody's been following the channel and you saw all those comments, I was just as confused. But I loved it. I was like. I was searching Google. I'm like, are they trolling? What the what the hell's going on? Hey, those are the chaos emeralds. Knuckles is so retarded. Okay, so yeah, nothing much is different here except that it was Tails versus Knuckles, and here we are at the best chaos boss fight. And by best, I mean fucking awful. Uh, we're Tails. It's literally no different than Sonic, except I can at least fly around and not have to just jump over and over again. So yeah, just go ahead and hop on him, and then uh, waste your life away as you fly around waiting for him to expose himself again. But yeah, uh, the repeated boss fights are probably my biggest gripe with the multiple perspectives to one story thing that they had going on. Like, I can, I can take the repeated cutscenes. I honestly can. I don't think that that's too big of an issue. Uh, what I, I can't take is just these monotonous boss fights where they don't change anything. Like, maybe if we fought Chaos 6 where, like, Tails' flying mechanics could come into the picture somehow. Or, you know, they, like, changed how you go about the boss fight. That, I can get behind. That's cool. 
But a carbon copy? Ugh, gosh. But, I mean, you know, they padded the game out. This is a, a decently long game. Especially for a launch title in the Dreamcast. And I'm sure Sega didn't give them much time to give this game all the love and care it needed. They never really have done that. Even in the Genesis days, man, it was like, you pump a game out. You pump game out, we make money now. Ah! Okay, here he comes. Yep. Boom and pop. That wasn't as bad as the Sonic version. And it is egg carrier time. I'm... Wait, wait. Ugh. Eggman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaos, blah, blah, blah. He gets absorbed up. And it's Sky Chase time. So let's go ahead and redo that one as well. I uh, I didn't realize... I, I feel like I should have done another character that does a completely different route. Because uh, this really overlaps a lot. But, you know, you do get the alternate cutscenes where, like, when I was Sonic... I just waited outside for Tails to do this, but now I'm Tails, so he's like, Hey Sonic, wait outside. That's cool. That's the kind of shit that I liked when I was a kid. As mundane and, you know, ridiculous as it is, seeing it from Tails' perspective is a pretty cool idea. And Sonic Adventure 2 does it significantly better. And I would actually say that Sonic 06 intersects the stories decently well. The, the story is garbage, but, I mean, they intersect them much better than this game. So, you, you gotta give credit where credit is due, and you gotta uh, acknowledge shortcomings when they're shortcomings. And I think I've been a pretty fair throughout this, because, you know, obviously my stance is that this is a fun, enjoyable game, and I think that if you have any interest in platformers, you should give it a shot. But I can absolutely go to bed tonight and be like, dude... Uh, not everybody's gonna love Sonic Adventure, and, uh, that's totally okay. It really is. But, yeah, I just, if you, if you like platformers, I don't understand why you couldn't at least give this game a chance. I think that the main Sonic action stages are worth the admission price and, uh, you know, a somewhat confusing path to get to the action stages. And I'll, I'll be honest, I think that uh, Gamma and Tails and Knuckles, uh, yes, Knuckles, are all worth playing in this game. I think they are all fun, enjoyable characters. Amy and Big the Cat, um, you know, I like Amy's levels. If she was a little bit faster, it would be much better, but whatever. And I understand that those ones, they're, they're not for everybody. They're not... So, yeah, and, and it would have been cool, too, like, you know, all right, you're making me replay the same level again. If they could have at least, like, changed the enemy patterns or something, or, I don't know, made Tails get Sky Chase Act 1 and Sonic get Sky Chase Act 2, you know, that it, there could have been cutscenes afterwards where it could have intersected and uh, kind of conveyed the story for the one that actually didn't get the level. But the, you know, making you play the exact same level again, and especially an on-rail shooter that's different from the rest of the game, uh, questionable choice. But I, to be fair, Sonic Team has never done something like that again. They'll make you refight bosses, but doing carbon copies of, like, submission levels, that never happens again. And uh, good job on them. Way to go, Tails. And here it comes. We are about to get shot TF down by a large laser on a ship, what, probably like 20 times the size of our little biplane. But now, this is where Sonic and Tails get split up, so the story can continue and progress in a completely different way. So Tails' story is really going to start to open up. Oh, we got a nice little flashback. Nice little origin story right here. Oh, goodness. Tales before Sonic.
Oh. I will follow you until the day I die. <laughs> All it took is him running by. And yeah, Sonic never asked for Tails. He just started following him and puts up with it. <laughs> is that supposed to be a smile? Oh, they tried. They fucking tried, man. I love it. And now we see Sonic landed in Station Square, but Tails tragically passed away in Mystic Ruins. Just kidding. He's alive. What do you got to say, boy? Mm, wow, that dream brought back memories. <laughs> I owe so much to Sonic. Hey, uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you ever survive Sonic. a plane crash and uh, you have a little dream state, do you think it would be about your best friend? Uh, let me know. And the first thing you say after you wake what, up, would it be, wow, Should that dream sure that? brought back memories. Oh, yeah, powerful. I almost died. If I'm going to get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. Yeah, and this is the part of the game if where we put on a lab coat and uh, we just start tinkering. It's like a little uh, well, Skyrim lockpick. Nah, we just got to go find a Chaos Emerald. And uh, as you can see... Tails is having a seizure from the impact, so we'll go ahead and do that on the next episode. But, um, hey, let me know how we're doing, and I will catch you next time. Take care, and thanks for watching.